I'm Eric, and I'm one of the founders of Consensus. Consensus is an AI search engine for academic and scientific research. Today, Consensus helps over 5 million students, researchers, and doctors search and consume peer-reviewed literature faster than ever before. Let's jump right into the product and I'll show you more. So when you come to Consensus, you can either search via keyword or search via conversational natural language queries. In this case, I'm going to type in a simple research question. What's happening when I enter in this request in Consensus is first, we are searching to find relevant research papers to what your request was. So first, as this whole section streams in, what I'm actually gonna do is click on this results tab to ground us all in what happened. Everything here below are the research papers that we found related to your search. This bolded text here is the research paper's title, and this gray text box is the one sentence AI generated summary of the paper. You'll see on each one of the papers, we've also applied additional quality indicator tabs to help you understand more about a given research paper. Now let's jump back up to the top to look at our AI generated section. So the first thing you're gonna see is our consensus meter, one of our flagship features. If you've asked a yes or no query, we'll have a set of AI models look across the research and try to visualize state of agreement across the papers for you. Below that, you'll see our analysis section. Just think of this as an AI model interacting with the search results below and then giving you a cohesive synthesis of all of the papers related to your query, equipped with, importantly, inline citations referencing those papers below. You can hover over these citations to learn more about a paper or click in if you want to dig in further. Every time you interact with Consensus, we search a database of over 220 million academic papers. These papers come from three sources. One is a partnership with Semantic Scholar. Two is a partnership with OpenAlex. And three is our own crawl of the scholarly web to fill in important coverage gaps. What this results in is a database that is very similar in coverage to that of a tool like Google Scholar, which includes almost all coverage across tier one high impact journals. Now to be totally clear, you do not get special access to papers via using consensus. For paywall journals, we will show you the abstracts and accompanying metadata for the papers with a link to the full text. And for open access papers, we'll allow you to download the PDF directly in Consensus. Let's jump back into Consensus and I'll show you a few more features. When you're using Consensus, after you've done a search, you can turn your search into a research session. So if you click this follow-up button here below, you'll be able to ask a follow-up questions that retains the context of your search above. So I'm gonna ask, what are the side effects? And you'll see the consensus does not need you to write a whole new query with the same terms from above, and it will know that you're talking about creatine and will run a representative search for that query. Another feature that our users love is the ability to save papers to consensus. So when you're in your discovery journey, you can mark what you wanna read next and dig into further. On any paper, you can click this flag right here. It will allow you to save a paper you can create a new research list. We'll call this one Creatine Supplementation Cognitive Effects. Create that list and add this paper to that list above. Now at any time, you can click this folder icon right here and go reference that list that you just made. Think of this as some light reference management that's built into the consensus product. If you want to learn more best practices of how to use Consensus, you can check out Consensus for free by accessing the link in our description.